Hello. In this quick instructional video, I'll explain a tool from here at the National Weather Service called the User Defined Area Forecast, or UDAF. The User Defined Area Forecast tool is an easy to use tool which allows users to get a custom weather forecast for a specific user defined area. It's most useful for areas with varying elevation which will likely affect the weather at any given point. It's a great tool for mountain enthusiasts or anyone looking to spend time outdoors hiking and camping at different elevations. So let's see how this tool works using a real life example. So let's say I'm planning a weekend hiking trip to Colville National Forest. Let's say Abercrombie Mountain. So what I'm going to do is going to start at our homepage, weather.gov slash Spokane. That will bring up this and I want to point out that if you'd like a quick forecast for one location you can just scroll down here and choose your spot on this map and that will give you a seven day forecast for that spot but for our um, instance we would like a range of elevations so what we're going to do is hover over this forecast tab go down to user defined area click that and that will bring up this page with a map that we will then scroll into the location we're looking for and we are looking for Abercrombie Mountain and there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single click at least four times to give us four points for our polygon that will include in our forecast area and once you have them drawn you can then click and hold and drag them to adjust. So let's include this valley here and bring this in a little tighter here. Alright so once you're happy with it go ahead and click on get area forecast. It'll think for a minute and bring up your customized forecast. So what are we looking at here? Well I want to point out one thing. This will show you the elevation range that you're looking at. So we are seeing from about 3700 feet to uh, about 6600. And what it's showing us is um, a, two columns. So basically a forecast for the lowest elevation on the left and the highest on the right for each time period, each day and night. Something interesting to point out for tonight is that the temperature for the lower elevations is actually much colder than for the mountains and that's unusual and that's because in this instance we are under a strong inversion which means that the atmosphere is uh, actually warming up with height which is unusual so that's just an example of some of the interesting and useful information that you can get from this user defined area something else that might come in handy is if we do have precipitation in the forecast say a winter storm and you wanted to know whether or not you would be seeing rain versus snow in uh, different elevations on the mountain this could tell you that and if there was snow in the forecast there would be a new row here that would tell you how much the accumulation amounts are expected in the valleys versus the mountain tops so try it out and if you have any questions feel free to get in touch you can contact us by email phone or on social media and let us show you how to get the most out of your National Weather Service website.